Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we're doing here is we're finding lots of uh, volume pieces here and dealing with volume and changing the dimensions of a cube or a prism and finding out how that affects <clears throat> the actual volume. So what we started with was taking a look at um, something like this. So the volume of a, uh, a prism, they're giving me the base area, and this is kind of cool because if my volume is length times width times height, these two guys give me my base area. Here's my base area, all right? This guy right here, my little base area, which could very well be down here, all right? And then I need five-thirds of a foot height of that, or layers of the uh, 13 halves. So my next line is going to be these two guys combined, which is really this value here. That's an area, 13 halves feet squared. So it's 13 over 2 multiplied by my height, and that's going to give me my total volume, my 5 thirds right there. Now if I multiply these guys, I get 6 on the bottom, and on the top I get my 13 over 5, excuse me, multiplied by 5. And that's a 15, that's a 6, so that's 65 over 6. And that's feet cubed. Now I can uh, simplify that. I'm not going to for a moment. You'll see why, uh, for now, you'll see why. Uh, because now we're going to talk about what happens when I uh, increase the height or I double the height, what happens to the actual volume. So if I double the height, that's this guy here, effectively creating another prism right on top here because I'm having another five-thirds. So if I take another five-thirds and I stick it on top, I'm effectively taking one prism of the same size, right, and putting it right on top. So my volume should double when you think about that. So let's try this. So here's my volume, length times width times height, and I'm using twice the volume. So my length times my width, right, and I'm going to double the height. There it is, double the height, two times height. And so my next line, here's my area again, my base area. That's not going to change. 13, 12. Now I need twice the height. And if I had 5 thirds, and I need to multiply that by 2, okay, or 2 over 1, turn it into a fraction, my 2 times 5 gives me 10. And my 1 times 3 stays the same. There you have it. And so my volume becomes 130 over 6 feet cubed. And there it is. So here's my 130 compared to my 65. And I notice that 130 over 6 is twice the size of 65 over 6. So that the understanding is that if I'm doubling any one dimension of a prism, I'm going to be doubling the volume. So if I triple the dimension, the height, that I'm tripling the volume, uh, and if I take half of a height, I'm going to half the volume, that kind of thing. So that was the first part of what we worked on today. And then we got a little deeper, and we started talking about, and let's cruise down. I'm going to cruise down to number four. Started talking about what if we start messing with every dimension, and what happens then? So here's my volume of my new guy. So... I have my 9 times my 2 times my 3. So I have 18 times 3. 18 times 3 is a 24. 3, 4, 5. So I have 54 feet cubed. Right? And so that's the volume of the entire prism. And I have that for A. And then what happens when we have all of the sides, all of them, not just one, because if I just took half of one, I would effectively just take the volume and cut it in half. But what happens if I have every dimension here? And what does that look like? So I'm going to put this up here. Here's my new formula, same formula, but I'm just going to write another one. And then I'm going to write what happens. So if I'm going to take half of something, I'm dividing it by two. So if I'm going to say that nine and I want half of it, I'm going to divide it by two. I'm going to write it as a fraction like that. 9 divided by 2. For my width, here's my 2, and I'm going to multiply, uh, excuse me, divide that by 2. I want half. Remember, everything is half. And then each dimension, right? So then 3 divided by 2. So I have all of those guys. All right. Now, if I multiply those out, I'm going to have 
9 times 2 times 3 again, okay, which is my 54. And then I'm going to have 2 times 2 times 2, all right, which is 8. Okay, 54 over 8 uh, b cubed. Now, taking a look at this answer compared to this answer, I notice I have my 54s are the same, uh, but this one is 54 divided by 8. So how did I go from taking half of each dimension to uh, dividing that original volume by 8? Well, the kids figured out that, hey, you know what? Because I'm taking 2 and I'm multiplying it by 2 and multiplying that by 2, saying, hey, wait a minute, I have three dimensions. I'm going to take half uh, three times. So, yeah, because I'm taking half times half times half, and I'm dividing that by my original volume. That is then one half cubed. You could look at it like that. Or you can say, hey, I'm going to, go to take the original, and I'm going to divide it um, by eight, or taking one eighth of it. And where's that coming from? Well, if I'm going to divide each of these by 2, right, which means I'm going to multiply by a half for each of these guys, if I take those and I multiply those together, I'm going to get 1 eighth. Or I'm going to take my original and divide it by 8. Now, applying that to some other fraction, if I was going to take a, a third, right, take this and take a third of each, well, then I'm going to take a third, multiply that by a third, multiply that by a third, and I'm going to get 3 times 3, which is 9, 9 times 3, which is 27, which means I want 1 27th of the original volume. All right? And that's kind of cool when you think about that. All right? Now, if I want to double all the dimensions, I want to go even further. Let's say I don't want to divide them in half. Let's say I want to multiply each dimension by 2. I want to double each of the dimensions. How does that affect the, how does that affect the volume? Well, take all those doubles and multiply those together. So it's 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 times 2. 2 times 2 gives you 4. 4 times 2 gives you 8. That means I need to take the original volume and multiply it by 8. Okay, because it's 2 cubed. All right. So that's what we worked on today. Lots of fun. Okay, thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.